every day we can be humbled a little bit more and, and really sit with the idea that we don't know anything. I don't know is an amazing, powerful, true sentence and something so many people, including me often, are scared to say. We almost wanna look like we have an answer and come up with an answer, but there are so many things that we just don't know. So here's an example. When you feel off and then you start strategizing everything, the truth is you don't know, but when you're in a, what do we do about the situation? You start strategizing, strategizing, right? Oh, you're fixing to find an answer, but you're finding an answer because you don't know what to do. And whenever you get into your head, that's, that's a lack of acknowledgement of that you don't know. And it's an opportunity for you to give that I don't knowness to the universe because under it is an answer that's at a deeper level than you're used to, right? I don't know, a very powerful sentence and a thing we all got to learn more because the truth is we don't know. So when someone goes, Hey, what do you, and you just go, I don't know. Um, that's freedom because every time you say, I don't know, even when you're meditating, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm meditating. Like when you meditate, remember I've said this before, but sometimes people say, I go, how was the meditation? They meditate for an hour and they go, well, it wasn't what I was expecting. If your meditation becomes what you were expecting, it's not a great meditation, right? because you were expecting already what was going to happen, so you don't change channels, right? What we want tonight is to have stuff that we aren't expecting. And that brings up, are we willing to let go of everything we know to make room for what we don't know? Are you willing to let go of everything you know for tonight's meditation? I mean, everything you know. Let go of any expectations of what's gonna happen, you might have past meditations. Um, you might have past meditations that gave you answers. So you often go into the next meditation expecting what the last meditation gave you. But every meditation is different. They're like snowflakes. Every meditation, some is going to take you into a crazy darkness. Some will take you to an answer. Totally different meditations mean different things. Some will give you amazing ideas. Some will help you get rid of that old story. Some will just give you a calmness. You get so many different things out of meditation. And sometimes you'll think nothing happened, but I promise stuff happened. You just couldn't measure it with your ego, which is great. So there's no way you can listen to silence tonight for almost an hour and not have things happen, even if you can't measure that anything happened. So the first thing we gotta do is suspend our expectations for tonight's meditation. Right. So Sarah says she had a heavy meditation for one hour today. Awesome. Well, the next one will be different. Right. I'm not saying better or worse, but it will be different. So you're in a different state. You, you've meditated for an hour. You're in a different place. You're in a deeper place in your body. And sometimes pain shows up because you've gone past your old shallow level of living. So you've gone past that old story and went to a place that wants to start releasing something. And then you go, how do I release it? Ooh, that question should also be held, but not actually answered. I don't know how to release it. Every how, every how you have is sitting on top of an I don't know. Do you understand what I'm saying? Every time you go, how do I... The truth is you don't know. And ego is going to try and get the answer before a deeper answer can come through. Do you see the difference? How do I, which way should I? The truth is you don't know. Now you're going to make a pros and cons list of which is the best way. Every how sits on top of a not knowing. So when you go, how do we get people to like us? How do we get more clients? How do I get more blah, blah, blah? Which way, how do I sell this house? Okay, you are in a place of I don't know. So don't answer the how because you're missing out on the gold, the jackpot of I don't know. That's a jackpot because it's the access point to new information, deeper information, stronger information, the next you. So what you're actually being called to often when you're, when you're, what, how do I, how do I, how do I, 
right, is a new channel that can honor its I don't know. Because the second you own an I don't know, the universe starts co-creating with you, starts giving you answers. It needs your I don't know-ness because it's trying to take you to a deeper channel. I don't know what to do. And then don't get an answer for a while. Can you live in an I don't know tonight? Go to bed with a big I don't know. You know what an I don't know is? An open heart. I don't know is an open heart. You want to access an open heart? I don't know. Because an I don't know creates an open heart. Figuring out means fear. We're closing off the I don't knowness and finding an answer because we're scared of what's under here. When you just own and love fully, I don't know, boom, your heart's open for new information. But many of us had dangerous situations in the past, maybe narcissistic parents or, or pain or fear. And if you had that, I don't know can be very scary because <clears throat> when you were open in the past, you felt unsafe. So then we protect ourselves because we don't want to feel one instance from our childhood again, right? So we go, I'm scared to open up to the universe because I have to protect myself because my parents didn't do it right. My brother or my sister didn't do it right. So I have to protect myself. So I'm scared to open up because in the past, opening meant danger. Yes, when you open to narcissistic people, it can mean danger. It can also shit scare them away when you own that. But... If you open up to the moment, you're safe. The universe is always like, I need you open to work through you. And I will give you powers. I will give you love. I will give you answers. I will give you. So I want to dare you to go into tonight's meditation with a big, I don't know, right? That's a beautiful sentence because who is it that doesn't know? The ego. Only the ego doesn't know. Something deeper knows everything. And when you open up the I don't know, the ego, the old story, doesn't know. But it's saying, but I'm open to learning. Ooh, now the, now the ego falls into a place of knowing. Not because it gave the answer to the shallow question, but a place of knowing on a level that's not in the level of the game. You know what I mean by the game? The game. All the shit going on outside of you is the game. So we're trying to find answers to the game. But there's a knowing available when we just go, I don't know, and we don't fix. And we don't change. I don't need to know. So I can feel now when I or someone else is trying to come up with an answer too early. And you see me when I work with people go into that how because that how is on top of an I don't know, right? So the ego is trying to save its life because it thinks that if it doesn't know, that will be death. Because when you were a child, it was. It was dangerous to not know. You have to protect yourself in your childhood. But here we are in 2019. 